I've just had enough. Let's go, buddy. Me and you. Let's just duke it out here. This is like the gray. I am Liam Neeson. Alright, we are here today checking out a little banger by the name of Air Zoo Rum. Or at least I'm hoping I'm relatively close to how I should be pronouncing that. That being said, this bad boy right here is an open world winter survival game. So as you guys are aware, I happen to be fairly fond of those. You know, I'm a big fan of the long dark. And as a matter of fact, we're checking this out because it actually did remind me quite a bit of long dark, except it's in Turkey. So, you know, if this flag right here wasn't alone enough for you, it's actually also a Turkey developed game. So I'm intrigued because I honestly don't know much about Turkey. So if I ever do find myself in Turkey during some sort of apocalyptic winter event, maybe through Erzurum, I might know how to survive, so hey. Nope. Off, huh? For a moment, I thought the tunnel would never end. Talon, you're a fool. What am I doing here in this freezing cold? Who do I think I am? Kind of survivor? I need to find a place to rest in no time. According to the villager I met earlier, the Imams. I would have loved to have um, known where the Imams' house was at. Okay, so we finally have a couple of landmarks here. Not sure what the hell this is, like some sort of... The you know, turkey flag is out here. Is this some sort of embassy or something, or... I don't know what this would be. But, if the turkey bros are watching... What does that say, for one? And number two, I'm hearing this weird... pulsar sound. These graves? <laughs> I thought it was like a government building of some kind. If there's graves, it's probably not. Nothing gets by you, Falcon, right? Pray, sure. There's a prey feature. Nani? So would this be Imam's house? Imam's? Alright, let's check it out. I can't go in there, there's no entry. Lock from the inside. Imam? Imam, please, I have arrived. It's fairly cold outside, please. Allow me... some warmth in your humble abode. There's a back door here. Oh, you're open, of course. You know, I'm gonna lock the front, but not the back, you know. Kinda defeats the entire purpose of keeping people such as myself out of your place. Hello, is anybody here? Hmm, one square room. I have the complete vision of everything. Nope. I don't think anybody is here. <laughs> wow! What is this, Viagra? No, it's Vero. It's a painkiller. Okay, we have painkillers now acquired. Very good. What the hell's that? Ooh, shotgun shell. Don't mind if I do. I would have a weapon yet to my knowledge, but... Matches, I'll take those. I'll take that one onion, I'll take that garlic, I'll take that metal bowl, because we'll probably need to cook some stuff eventually. Hard sugar, you damn right. La cola! I only blame Imam for this, because Imam not being here is what's causing me to just go and ransack their entire shack here. Now, Falcon, you're here doesn't mean you have to take everything you see. Sure, that's a good argument, I would say, but, um... I actually can take it, so I, I probably will for that reason alone, you know? Oh, okay. Right click. Where? Can't just drag it. Put some socks on. Okay, we got some socks and a beanie. Soldiers came here this morning. They had been evacuating local residents due to the meteor strike. It was a meteor strike. I tried to reach them, but it was too late. They left without me. If anyone greets this, find me at the watchtower over the hill. God protect us. What the hell's going on here? The meteor strike? Evacuation? I must find the Imam before it's too late. Now, here's what I'm gonna be honest with you about. I, I really do wish, uh... <laughs> I knew what an imam was. And here we go. Oh, jeez! Oh, God! Two hours later. Alright, boys and girls, I'm not sure if we're gonna make it over here. As you can see, I'm, I'm, I'm just at the point of about to freeze to death. And it's too blizzardy to actually see where the hell I'm going. Oh, I think I see something. Just barely. Luckily, the game doesn't necessarily kill you too, too quickly, even if you're freezing, so the HP is dropping, but very slightly. And I found this freaking watchtower. Imam, are you in here? Okay, so crisis averted. It seems that the blizzard has subsided. We're warming ourselves up, which we actually did quite need. I'm also melting some snow for some water. Which it seems we can probably use afterwards to make some tea, which we do have tea, but I think we also need a teapot, so now we have to keep our eyes open for that. So right now, I just want to go ahead and warm myself up so we can start taking off again again. I think our destination, there seems to be like a pillar of smoke over there. My binos don't, don't really pick it up. Is it so freaking bright? That's going to be my water, huh? It doesn't, it doesn't look too appetizing, but sure, water it is. 
Now we can drink, drink this straight up. I'm gonna save it. Um, if we do the soda, less soda, it, we don't really, really need that. As a matter of fact, we're like at 75 all across the board. But let's go ahead and just have the wafers to kind of put us close to it. And let's not waste any, let's not waste any time by apparently getting stuck behind the door. That'd be nice. Let's go. Two hours later. Okay, so that over there might explain the smoke that we saw from way over there. I gotta tell you guys too. This is a very ballsy move by this developer. I always love when that music cuts in though. It's a very ballsy move by this developer to make the first two things you have to do in this game is to travel from one long ass location to another with absolutely nothing to do in between. You guys are lucky I'm recording for you this uh, recording this for you and editing all the wait part out, but I've been freak walking for a very long time from that watch tower to this. And let me just tell you that if I was not recording this for you, I probably would have been like, you know what? I'm good. So it's a very ballsy move. I would say, like, you know, you gotta add a couple of things to engage your player base immediately. And not have to just, you know, hope that they're gonna give it more time, because there's so many games out there, as so I'm gonna say for this dev, but hey. We have made it to the Hunter's Lodge. Hello, my friend. Do you mind if I just make myself at home? Because that's exactly what I plan to do. Ooh, I actually need this to make myself a torch to keep myself warm in the travels. Uh, my friend, if you don't mind, I'm gonna go ahead and talk to you, sure. But before I do that, as in I should do in every game, I'm gonna steal everything in your possession. I'm sure you won't mind. <laughs> I'm taking all of your resources for survival. I've taken all oh, the teapot, very good. I actually needed to make this to make some tea, my friend, so thank you. As a matter of fact, Meanwhile, I speak to you, I'm going to make myself a, uh, a tea. We got some tea going on here from the goods that I've stolen from this man. I'm glad that I found you, Imam said you were here. Where did you find this note? Where is he? Left with the others? Unfortunately, I found his frozen corpse near the watchtower. I'm sorry. Oh my god, he was a good man. God bless his soul. So, what can I do for you, son? Are you looking for a way to escape here? Actually, yes. I don't know how the meteor impact is affecting here, but as I understand from the evacuation, it might be dangerous. Yeah, usually meteors falling on the world is fairly dangerous. Okay, then listen. There's a military camp near the meteor smoke. I saw a few soldiers there while they're hunting. They can help you, but beware of bears. It's a bad territory. You can take my spare shotgun to the shack next to the house. Ooh. No mind if I do. We should take advantage of the fact that we have fire here for a long time. We grab this shotgun, we go in there, we get some rest, because obviously our stamina is already very, very low. At least our energy is. Oh, plus we could obviously steal a couple more things here, so that's always a plus. There's a shotgun. Ooh, hatchet. Yo! Flashlight. Yeah, alright! And more shotgun shells. Very good. Let's go in here. We, I know we could craft a torch now. We should have enough for a torch. Make that happen. Do we just need one? I guess we'll just make one for now. And... Cool. I imagine this should keep us warm when it's cold and we're traveling other than just light source itself. Put this away for now. Here's our shotgun. There it is. Quite interesting shotgun. Looks more of a rifle, but what do I know about weapons? Well, do not be alarmed. That is actually my footstep there. It's a very interesting footstep for snow, but it is what it is. I have found a chestnut, though. Okay, Torch, you don't do anything at all. You don't warm me up even the slightest because I'm still decreasing fairly rapidly here. But on the upside, it seems we have found what seems to be a gas station of some kind, so... I mean, first and foremost, put this away. Take the shotgun back out. Alright. Maybe, maybe now I'm gonna finally be able to do something other than just pick a couple of items up and talk to Zia as he twitches out in front of me. So, bear country is here. Oh, I see animals! Oh, finally, a sign of life! The smoke's over there where the radiation meteor impact's supposed to be. Okay, finally! Good god! Developer, it takes so long for things to start happening! Sorry, I have ADD apparently. I can't just wait around the entire day. So, um, I'm freezing as you could tell, but... These animals must perish to give me something to do. Shot him in the ass and he died, of course. Shot him in the- okay, my, my dude could never miss. See, now I'm happy because, at the very least, it does seem that we have a sharpshooter. And this will make up really greatly for my terrible aiming proficiency in general. We have killed two of you. That's good. I shall kill more of you if there is any out here. But first, we got deer. Um... 
Well, I mean, I have a hatchet. I guess we could just imagine any hatchet that up. We got deer skin and we got some meat. Okay, let's see. Um, do coal for this one. Cuz, we're gonna probably cook some things up here if we can. So teapot is ready to go once again, that's fine. But, plain venison. Yes, sir. Fills the stomach by 40. That's what's up. Could I have multiples cooking, I wonder? Uh, apparently not. It's only one cook at a time, good sir. Alright, well, I guess we gotta wait. Fortunately, we have to warm up, so that is the upside here. Now, I'm curious about checking inside of here. Personnel, Harichi Girimelsi Yasaktir. That's suspicious. Okay, what's in the actual gas station itself? Ooh, we got some pretzel sticks. Coffee? Yeah, buddy. Turkish coffee actually sounds amazing. Now, what would be nice would be a coffee maker, because we have so many Turkish coffee now. But we don't actually have the little pot to make the coffee. Question of the day. What is the meaning of the following sentence? Cute cake is watching Pink Candy... Pink Candy's reaction to Maya Queen's reaction at CC Girl's makeup video. What the hell did you just say? Okay, so... Been traveling. <laughs> surprise, surprise, right? You mean you've been traveling in this game? Yeah, I've been traveling it again. I'm hearing that weird pulsar sound, though, that I hear normally around... ...objects or places. What? <laughs> to help? I increased energy by picking up a meteorite? I hear a wolf. I hear a wolf. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if that was a howl that he knows that I'm around and he's coming at me. Or what. But, um, let me tell you. This aiming? <laughs> this is terrible. What, what the hell is this? Oh! Oh! Okay, luckily for me, <laughs> that was the, the, the worst animated wolf that has ever rushed me in a video game whatsoever, so I had said, uh, oh! <laughs> Two wolves down. What's up? By the way, I have some sewing kits. I wonder now with these skins if we could probably make something to warm ourselves up. It might actually break the monotony of traveling over and over. Hold on, give me a second here. Craft. Rabbit socks. Deer skin, we can make some deer pants and a wolf sweater and wolf pants. Well, I'm ready for the Arctic survival now. Okay, this is good. And we uh, reduced our weight again, which is perfect. All right, look at this. Should probably make another sewing kit when I get the chance. All right, now I'm dropping by one. By the way, I'm actually fairly cold. But you know what? As, um, as janky as those wolves were, it actually just gave me something else to do other than just walk and just stare at this white and trees and unendlessly. But here seems to be the smoke of this meteorite, so maybe it's about to all change right now. This is where Erzurum takes a turn for Game of the Year 2021, probably. So hold on to your butts, because we're almost there. That was the quietest wolf of all time. Oh, I'm bleeding now? And Bandy, 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 where's Bandy? Bandy's right here. No, that's close, dog. No! Use. Stop bleeding. Okay, we're good. Hey, hey, uh, we got some painkillers here, too. Drop two of them. All right. Everything is fine. We're still freezing. <laughs> now we gotta keep an eyes open for this ninja wolf, man. Are we loaded up? Reload, just in case. Okay, so these wolves, they're the jankiest creatures of all time in video games, but they have, like, a stealth skill of 100. Now, these gotta be, like, good military people, right? This is Turkey, so I imagine they're good people. They're not, like... Well, I see a giant-ass bear. Okay. Alright. It doesn't quite look like this is a military camp that's, uh, you know, currently inhabited, right? Alright. Well, um... Let's see if we can find some weaponry- Oh, backpack! Carrying potential? No, it's just for bullets. I guess that's fine. I already have a flashlight. But what's wrong with two? You're right. They do have batteries. What's wrong with two is that now I'm overweight. Wardrobe, nothing in there. Shotgun shells. We have a radio station key. 
I must check this radio station. Maybe I can ask for help. Colonel, I've been trying to reach you, but we can't get a signal from our radios here. This must be because of the meteor. I was thinking to send one of my soldiers to the radio station to communicate with you, but we have been hearing strange sounds coming from the meteor area. Decided to inspect it. Now we're going there. If you read this and decide to come after us, make sure everybody wears a gas mask. According to our measurements, there is high radiation level behind the rocks. They went to the meteor area. This is madness. They could be dead already. We need to find a mask then, don't we? Oh god! <laughs> I was in the inventory putting stuff away and suddenly the bear rushed and I heard him. I heard him, I don't see him, but I heard him. <laughs> What's wrong with this bear? <laughs> Is he intimidating me or what? Look at this guy. Oh, this, this... I think this is the perfect example of this game in the nutshell right now. You know what? I've had enough. I've just had enough. Let's go, buddy. Me and you. Me and you. Me and you come- I can't even run after you, bud. Let's just duke it out here. This is like the gray. I am Liam Neeson. He takes a beating, apparently. But you know what? This time... Liam Neeson wins. There's another one over there, too. You're dead now. This is Erzura. My disappointment is immeasurable. And my day is ruined.